DCL time is when you work on things that intrigue you. Most people, most students use it to work on projects and coursework, but if you don't have anything, then you use it for actual DCL time and you create whatever you want. An inquiry project is sort of a passion project in a way. It's, it's something that uh, has academic outcomes, but is um, created by the students. So, you know, I'm I'm interested in programming. I'm interested in writing. I might create an inquiry project around uh, creating a website for people to share stories. Yeah. So for my inquiry, I chose to do marketing because I want to start a business when I'm older. And so marketing is a key piece of that. For my inquiry project, I'm doing a forensics-based project. So basically what I'm doing is I've been researching a bunch of methods that forensic scientists use in the fields when they're sort of solving case files. My current IDS is hairdressing and cosmetics. So it focuses primarily on hairdressing, but I also do um, verge into the area of uh, makeup application and even just like home kind of uh, DIY stuff looking into the aesthetics like little home arts and crafts. Um, a lot of it I do put on a YouTube channel just because it's easiest to log the hours that way to show that I've done the work for it. Inquiry projects at Inquiry Hub are an opportunity for students to really explore ideas around a question that they may have, either a passion or an interest that they want to follow, and take it to a level that doesn't normally happen in a classroom. Uh, it can end in a, a final product that is a presentation to, um, to the world, to a class, uh, it, but it, what it will always end in is a, somehow the student exhibiting what they've learned in a unique way um, and what they tend to show us is that when students are passionate and can choose their topics that the end result that uh, of that we they come up with is, can be pretty incredible DCL time uh, DCL stands for dream create learn and it's the it's the 50 percent time that people that the students at inquiry have have unstructured so that they can work on the things that interest them. Dream Create Learn is named after the school murals, yet another inquiry project that were put up by students. They were created, the wording was created by students, and uh, that's what has, you know, not only has it uh, defined the ethos of the school, it's actually gotten into the lingo of the school. Um, I use it to create what I've always wanted to create, is 3D printed battle armor for a ro little robot. Uh, but other people write novels, um, sketch art, it's do whatever interests you as long as it has something to do with education. Currently I'm working on making a short film. It's, um, well, it's going to be an adaptation of Shakespeare's uh, The Comedy of Errors, but it's going to be set in a modern setting. You know, the way I've seen it is there's a lot of people at the school, on, in the district, in the world who have a lot of talent and a lot of skill when it comes to music creation or performing or um, different things like that, but they never really get an opportunity and I think that's something that this school is really good for, is, is giving the students that opportunity to say, I'm here, I, I can play the guitar, I can play the piano, I can rap, um, and you know, give them a way to get themselves, get themselves noticed in their uh, field of interest. So.